Cool. So now how to actually make a reel and WTF are all of these buttons for? I'm not going to say the whole <laughs> word, um, but this is how we actually, this is for the noobs out there. I see you. I was once you. Um, this is how you actually go in to create a reel. So we go in to the little plus button in the top right there, and then we click on reels. This is in an iPhone as well, by the way. Oh, this is what your phone sees. Uh, great pause on. Um, your phone will usually see a really ugly um, version of yourself because you hold it in a weird position. Um, this is on an iPhone, so it might be a little bit different if you've got an Android. I'm not 100% sure. I know that it does look slightly different. Um, but I've got an Android and it's the same as what you're doing. Awesome. Just good. Yeah, now, Thank but. you. <laughs> Oh, I can see there's noobs in here. That's great. Um, so moving on, what your phone sees. So then there's different buttons. There's add music, and we're going to go through how to add the trending audio. Don't worry. Then there's time, how long you want your reel to be. Then there is display settings, which I never use, um, so I won't really worry about it, but you can if you want to. Um, timer. So for example, this is if I'm setting my phone onto my tripod or onto my ring light and I'm going to be like further away from it, that way I don't, as soon as I click the real button to record, it will start recording. And so then I can't go all the way back. So if I click this timer, I can go all the way to where I need to be. And then it starts recording. You can set it to three seconds or 10 seconds. Filters. Um, we don't really want to stress about filters. There are times where you might want to add a filter. You maybe you don't feel your prettiest self, or um, I've the, I've used filters for things like um, I've commented on Logie's dresses and how they would look as um, wedding dresses, for example. But uh, filters that change your appearance. Again, we want to be authentic. People people will like you for you, so don't stress about filters. Um, you know, I, yeah, I wouldn't stress about that. Um, and then flip the camera. So if you are doing, um, like showing your flowers or showing your cakes or, um, doing a, a venue tour or something like that, flip the camera around and that's how you will see the other side. All right. That is the buttons that you need to worry about now. Creating reels with pre-captured footage. So this is just a recording of me. <laughs> using captured footage from a venue tour that one of our venue specialists went on. Um, so she sent me all of this footage and then I wanted to make a reel from the footage. Um, so this is just quite basic on how to actually access the footage from your uh, photo library from your phone um, gallery. So we swipe up and then all of our photos appear photos and videos. And so then you just click on the on the footage that you want and it'll appear there. And then that bottom toggle there is your time, how, how to crop the video if you want it to stop wherever the music changes, for example, if you want to change it on the beat, like we talked about before, you know, you can, you can slide that toggle so that it matches wherever you want to get to the next frame. Then click next, swipe up again, access the next frame, slide that toggle to wherever you want it to go and then click add and so on and so forth until you're happy with what it looks like. Finding trending audio and saving it for later. I had quite a few of these uh, in the survey. So this is how we're doing it. We are going, so the reason that we're, we want to use trending audio, as I mentioned before, is because if the audio is trending, and you're using it, then there is a higher likelihood of your reel ending up trending. Um, so we are going to our Reels um, Explore page, Reels page, which is the middle button on Android as well, that middle button. Yeah, it's the same. Um, so then basically to find a, a trending audio, all you have to do is scroll for nice. probably five minutes and like if you scroll for five minutes, I can guarantee you, I can guarantee you, you will hear one or two or three audio bits come up 
multiple times. That's how you know it's a trending audio. If you hear it multiple times within five minutes, it's trending. So once you have found an audio bit that is trending and that you like, that you think, oh, I could definitely use this for whatever I want to showcase of my business. Tap that bit of audio. It has like the name of the audio is down there in the bottom left corner. So this one is Harry Styles, Daylight, great song. Um, tap that and then you can save the audio. And I know what you might say, I'm not able to access this audio. Why is that? We're gonna get to that in just a second. All right, so now once I've saved that audio, I'm gonna go to that plus button, create the reel as I showed before. We're creating the reel now. And then we're clicking on the music icon, the little music note. From there, we go to our saved audio. There's a saved portion. So once you've saved all of your audio, it's in there and there it is. That's all you need to do. My other quick tip is make sure you write down your idea. You, I cannot tell you the amount of times that I have saved audio and then I'm going back through my saved audios and I'm like, whoa, what was I thinking with this? And I'm trying to plan out my month of reels and I'm like, I've just lost that idea. I have to go find another bit of audio now to fill in that spot because I have no idea what the, the inspiration was behind this, this piece. So even if it's just in your like notes section on your phone, when you save the audio, put some, make a note somewhere that says daylight Harry Styles dash whatever the idea is or audio name dash whatever the idea is, just so that you remember when you're deciding to plan your reels out for the month, what the idea actually was behind the audio. Now, can't find popular songs. Um, I've had a few people ask me, oh, it's so weird. Like I can't, I'm trying to make reels with popular songs with Daylight from Harry Styles. Nobody's asked me about Daylight from Harry Styles, but I'm just using that as an example now. Um, and I can't find it. I can't use it. I can't save it. So for some reason, don't ask me why, but if you change your profile category to entrepreneur, it will work. So I've done that with, it's not visible outside. So like if people look at your page, they won't see that it says entrepreneur. So you don't have to worry about, you know, that's not my actual business category. Um, but that will give you access to the full Instagram music library. Is there a way to delete saved audios once you've used it? Yep, there certainly is. <laughs> okay, I have not taken a screenshot of that, but that is a great question. When you are in your saved here, you should be able to swipe to the left and then it'll come up with like a delete button. Now, let me just triple check that that's correct. Otherwise, let me just check that that's correct before I make any promises. Audio. Oh, yes. So once it's saved, if you swipe across, you can see that the little saved, this little flag thing is, bookmark thing is touched. If you click that, it unsaves it. All right, good. I'm glad I knew that. <laughs> All right. So can't find popular songs. I've gone through that. That's great. Now, adding to your reel adding text, uh, making edits to that text, adjusting and editing clips, sound adjustments, voice over abilities, closed captions, stickers, other abilities that you might not use, but that are there if you want them, um, choosing your cover image and thumbnail and saving to draft. Are we ready? <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here's my reel um, that I've just recorded. I'm, I just wanna add text to it. So I'm just gonna go in the top right corner, click the text button, and then I'm just pasting in my text just because I had it pre-written, but you would write your cap, your text, your caption here, pinch it to make it smaller, fit the screen the way you want, and then tap it again. And you can adjust it with that toggle to match exactly where the sound ends or where you want it to end. And then here I am adding some more text and putting it to the right color, similar to a story, I suppose. And then tap that and then put the toggle so that it appears when I wanted to. That looks about right. So now just checking that I'm happy with how that looks. Yep, happy with that. All right, 
So I can also adjust the clip if I want to um, make it longer or shorter. Same thing, similar to with the text, there's a toggle there that will lengthen the clip. So this is the full clip that I did before, <laughs> um, me being an idiot, before then adjusting it to make it shorter. Um, obviously nobody needs to see what I actually do behind the scenes. <laughs> Anyway, so that I'm happy with that length uh, and then click done. That all looks good to me. Now with the sound, obviously I've got the sound of the song on full volume here because that's the way I need it to be so that um, my mouth obviously matches the volume. You can also add filters, but I don't want to add a filter. So I'll just click that one back to turn it off. You can add stickers similar to stories and captions as well, which I do recommend. Obviously, I don't have captions on at the moment because there's no voice. But if I record my voice on top, the closed caption will work. So I've turned the music off here and included a voiceover. And now if I click the closed caption sticker, it will automatically hear the voiceover. There we go. Testing, testing. This is a voiceover. And now I can also edit the text in case it misheard one of my words or something. You can just click that word and then backspace and rewrite it. Obviously, I don't need that, so I'm going to bin it. So you can bin anything if you've decided that you don't want or need it. I'm just going to remove that voiceover because I don't need it. And I'm just going to put the music back on full blast. Next. Similar to stories, again, you can draw. Obviously, I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to undo that. <laughs> but it's very similar to Instagram stories in that sense. You can also save, but it will save without the audio because the audio is copyright. So then just make sure that I'm happy with the complete look and then click next. Now I'm going to edit my cover. I want to make sure that it looks good on my feed so I can select from my camera roll and pick a photo if I want to and then click profile grid and adjust. Obviously, I'm not using my friend's dog, but this is just an example. I can also just use this little sliding bar that shows the whole video and then pick something that I'm you know, happy with, then go to profile grid and then adjust that if I'm happy with it. All right. Now. We can go to write our caption. So very similar to how you would normally write a caption uh, in a post. This is my caption, obviously not my actual caption, delete, delete. <laughs> um, you can also tag people similarly to normal posts, add location. And then I recommend on Facebook, allow that. Um, advanced settings, don't really worry about those. And then save as draft and there it is. There we go. So to answer someone's question about, can you post your Instagram reel on your Facebook page too? If you let that, who was that? Mark, if you turn that on, allow um, sharing to Facebook, that will help you get that extra reach and engagement. It won't appear on your wall on Facebook, on your feed, um, but it will share to Facebook and get that extra reach and those extra eyeballs on your reel, yes. Transitions. So we had a few funny questions in the survey, and I'm so sorry, this is definitely going to go over over an hour now. Um, so again, this will be recorded. So if you need to leave, that's totally fine. You will receive the recording to watch in your own time. Um, but I'm definitely going to go over. <laughs> um, so transitions. I got a few questions in the survey. There was one you know, funny one that was like, uh, how do I do the reel where the the bride falls onto the couch and then comes back up in her wedding dress? And I was like, whoa, that is so specific. <laughs> um, so I haven't done that as an example. Alas, I don't have a wedding dress, um, but I have put <laughs> some uh, examples here, perhaps a little bit easier um, to, to work with, at least to start. Um, but Yes, I will show you some transition examples um, just now. So when it comes to transitions, obviously we want to pick sounds that have some kind of beat um, to them. So the music might change or there's a beat that drops or something. So I've already 
saved the the song that I want. I've, I'm using the same one for a few of these examples just to make it a bit easier. And the goal is basically once you've transitioned, you change into something else or the, the frame changes in some way. So here I am working on the first frame and you might have to do this a few times just to get the right frame, but you can see very simple movement. I'm just covering the camera with my hands and then adjusting the toggle correctly to where I want it to move to the next frame. Just changing really quickly. This is very lazy changing, by the way. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to do it quickly for you. So here I'm working on the next frame. And again, this can take a few goes just to get it perfectly right. Um, you wanna make sure that obviously it looks absolutely seamless um, and not like, you know, there are any hesitancies or any um, discrepancies, I guess, through the video. You want it to look like it's just one whole video and you've changed in, you know, a quarter of a second. So here I am adjusting toggles on both sides to make sure that as soon as that music changes, I change too, and that tra transition happens. Adjusting, adjusting, and then we'll get the final result. It's all worth it in the end. There we go, final result, done. <laughs> It looks great. That's the first transition example. Next one, we are going to do a jump and I forgot to set my timer, so I'm going to delete that. So setting my timer because I am going to be far away from my screen and I'm gonna do a jump. So basically the goal of this is when I land, I have changed clothes. So that's my first jump. Again, very lazy. I don't look my best. I am in my work from home clothes, <laughs> so in my Uggs. So, you know, do with that what you will. So this is my first clip and I'm adjusting. Obviously, as soon as I land, as I said before, I want to have changed into my new outfit. So here I'm changing, again, very lazily changing. And now I want to align. I want to make sure that I'm capturing exactly, I'm standing exactly where I stood for the first clip so that it looks like I ha like I've just jumped into the same place. Once I'm happy with that, set my timer and then move back. And then once the timer goes, jump. And then we are going to go back to our clips and edit them with those toggles. So obviously, you can see there, I need to edit this clip or I guess shorten the clip a little bit so that exactly when I land in the first video is when I land in the second video. And then I want to listen and make sure that when I land is when that beat drops or that music changes or that accent happens. That looks about right. I'm just gonna make a little adjustment at the start of this video just for the sake of being pedantic. <laughs> that looks about right. I'm pretty happy with that for a very short reel. There we go. Next one is if you wanted to add text or something, this one's gonna be a quick transition, kind of similar to the one, the first one that I showed you. Here I am just changing my appearance very slightly, again, very lazily. Um, did I do a punch in the first one? I think I did a punch. Yes. All right. So basically the goal here is to punch out of this in my second clip. So set my timer, get my fist ready and three, two, one, punch out. And then same thing, go to <laughs> be an idiot and then go to my clips and edit with those toggles to make sure that when I punch out is exactly after I punched in, if that makes sense. I want it to look like just one movement. So you can see here, not quite. So I need to adjust this first clip to make it look like a single movement. 
have a look. There we go. Done. Next one is for if you don't want to show your face, maybe you're a florist, maybe you're a cake decorator, whatever it might be. I've, I've seen a few of these which look really nice with, um, you know, the cake is not quite made yet and then you come out of it and it's a beautiful cake at the end or same with the flowers, um, they're a mess and then you come out of it and um, it's a beautiful bouquet or arrangement or something. So I'm just using the art in my house here, but you can see, come all the way in, bang, beat changes, come all the way out, different painting. Last one is a trend that you might have seen. This one is really good for if you're a makeup artist or if you're a hairdresser or something like that. Um, you could start with a bare face and then the transition to uh, a freshly made up face or fresh uh, out of bed hair, kind of similar to the hair that I have in this clip actually, even though I'm definitely not fresh out of bed, but anyways, moving on. Um, and then you transition into that beautiful uh, wedding ready hair. So same thing, first clip adjusting toggles and then I'm aligning myself with that first clip and I want to come out of this as a different looking person in some way, shape or form. So then let's see the final product. There we go. Looks great. Those are our transition examples. All right. That was a lot. And if you have to leave, that's totally fine. I do apologize. I tried to pack it in, but there is a lot and I'm not done. <laughs> so you will get the recording again. Um, Bye, Robin. Thank you. <laughs> um, so now planning. Let's talk about planning. How to make the most out of your time and be as efficient as you possibly can. I've put together this little um, Reels, Instagram Reels planner. If you really want to write everything down um, and be as like thought out as you need to, you can use something like this um, and hopefully that will really help you. I would suggest doing doing your planning once a month. Um, let's aim for maybe one to two reels per week to start. So maybe like eight week, eight reels, excuse me, um, eight reels when you plan for the month. So like I've done, I've planned 20, I've created 20 reels in a day before. So if I can do 20, you can do eight. I, I believe in you. Um, so start, start with your saved audio is usually what I do. So I personally don't use this real planner because I've done it a lot now. So I feel like I don't need to, but what I always do is I go to my saved audio clips and I take my pen and paper, old school pen and paper. And I write down, as I said before, when you're taking notes, um, and if I, if I'm planning, okay, I'm going to do eight reels today. I'm going to film eight reels. I'm going to write one dot, audio idea, two dot audio idea, blah, 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 until I get eight. And then I create my reels. And as I create them, I cross them out. There is no better feeling than crossing that idea out because it's done. So that's what I would recommend. If you don't want to go through filling all of this out, go at least with the saved audio and write it all down so that you know what you're creating, what you're planning to create for the day, as in on the day for the month. Um, and then do it that way. That's how I do it. Um, bulk create, as I mentioned, if you just, if you just say, okay, every first, whatever your least, you know, busy day with weddings is. So maybe like the, every first Monday of the month or every last Monday of the month, whatever bulk create, just create it all in the one day. And then you don't have to worry about it until next month and then save all as draft um, to post throughout the month. Sneaky tip. If you are creating multiple reels in the one day, try to change clothes so that people don't think they don't know. They can't tell that you've created. I have so many reels up there that I've created in just the one day that none of you would ever know. So that's a sneaky tip. You don't have to do that, but you can.